Okay, welcome to an unconventional video. Here in this channel, I'm all about products that are well-designed and well-made, irregardless if they're perfect or not, because I don't think there are any products out there that are actually perfect. What I'm talking about today are these Stealth of Wheels that I've personally owned for the last three or four years. And ever since I discovered them back then, I thought their products were I think over-engineered is the best way I could describe them, especially for something that kind of just sits under your chair. You know, you forget about them. You buy the cheapest one that you can find on Amazon and you just assume that everything works the same way. But when I was having a conversation with them, they kept mentioning how much effort and time they've actually spent designing and engineering the wheels. I couldn't really understand it because to me, they're just wheels. And so what's interesting is they actually sent me a set that's completely disassembled, hoping that it'll make me understand why this was such a big deal for them. So this video is not sponsored. They did not ask me to make this video. I just thought it was really interesting since I like products that are designed well, especially once you see them being compared to one of Amazon's top selling brands. So this is the fork from one of the top selling brands on Amazon, and it's what you would expect from a caster. It's made out of steel. It's got the grooves here at the top for the ball bearings. And uh, speaking of ball bearings, I've actually lost a couple already because when I was trying to put them together, uh, they kind of just fell off. But it, you know, for the purpose of this demonstration, it, they're supposed to look like this. So when you put the stem on top of it, the ball bearings let it rotate freely. Okay, now when you flip the fork over, you'll see some grooves underneath. And I'm assuming they've done this to save on cost, but they're using this plastic uh, ring instead of ball bearings. And what it does is that when the stem is clamped together, uh, it helps it rotate freely. So there are ball bearings at the top and bottom, but in this case, ball bearings at the top and a plastic ring at the bottom. And then we have the wheel, which is polyurethane, which feels kind of like rubber, but is more durable. And then once everything's put together, it should look like this. You can see that I can rotate the stem freely thanks to the ball bearings. Um, it feels very sturdy and durable. I do want to point out the fact that these are from two different companies. But if you look at them, aside from the logo, they're basically identical. So to me, I'm assuming that they come from the same factory designed by the same company, just branded differently. Even the wheels are exactly the same. So here are the wheels from Stealtho. They're also polyurethane. The middle part, I'm not really sure of, but it feels kind of like plastic. And it may not seem apparent at first, but the wheels are also smaller than the, the, the rest. That's important because when you change the casters of your chair, if the wheels are bigger, then it also lifts the height of the chair. And that's not even taking into account the fork and the stem. But usually they're standard. Um, for Stealth though, theirs is actually a little bit shorter and the wheels are also a little bit smaller. This is the fork that they have. It's anodized metal. They told me that this is a special Japanese steel that only they can get. It's supposed to be more durable and can withstand more weight. And if you compare it side by side, the Stealth ones are also a little bit wider. And if you have them laying on the table and look at the size and the shape themselves, the Stealth one has this unique shape that doesn't go straight down. It's also a smidge thicker. By how much, I'm not really sure, but you can definitely see it. Both of them have the same grooves at the top and underneath, but where it differs is that for the Stealth, the ball bearings are enclosed within this cage, so they're not just bouncing around all over the place. And it's just a much more satisfying way to kind of just put things together. Comparing the two stems side by side, they're very similar, except for Stealth though, they have a two-piece design that has this very satisfying way of kind of just coming together. There's one detail that they did point out, and if you look at the stem compared to the others, the Stealth ones widen as you go down. And according to them, this basically helps stabilize the wheels and makes it a lot more durable. So when you put the stem together, it looks kind of like this. This thing is so satisfying, it almost feels like a fidget toy. And this is what it basically looks like if you put the fork and the stem together. Now if you flip it around, underneath you'll see the grooves, and instead of them using the plastic ring, they're using the same caged ball bearing design. It's a little bit smaller than the other one, but it's basically the same. Now I do want to point out two important things about the wheels, because Stealtho decided to use the more expensive ABEC9 bearings, which are basically fast spinning bearings that are suitable for skateboards. Now obviously you don't need fast bearings for chairs, but it does show you the commitment to using high quality parts. 
Same thing goes for the bushings. Stealtho decided to use steel as opposed to aluminum because it's much more durable. And you can actually see how much thicker theirs are compared to the others. So here's another interesting bit that I learned. So the center part of this wheel is red. And remember from the fork that there's this little cutout that kind of exposes that red part of the wheel. According to Stealtho, the only real purpose for this is just to show the design in the middle of the wheel. So apparently their designer is a big fan of race cars, so he took inspiration from the big brake calipers that you can see on modern sports cars. I think that's a pretty cool design detail. Now we have both casters side by side so that you can compare them yourself. There are obvious design differences. As far as the build quality goes, it's something that you have to feel for yourself. But I do have to say that the Stealtha one feels much more premium than the other one. But as far as durability goes without proper testing, I can't really say. So one last thing I do want to mention is that both these wheels are rated to hold the same amount of weight. Now, I can't verify that because obviously that needs a lot more testing and I don't have the equipment or even the know-how to do that. However, after seeing the build quality and how much uh, engineering went into the Stealtha wheels, it's kind of hard for me to imagine that this cannot hold more than it claims. So it's either this can actually hold more or this one claims to be able to hold whatever weight it says that it can, but actually doesn't. I'm not saying that's what it is, but it's just after looking at both of these side by side, there has to be a significant difference in terms of performance and durability. And the reason why I bring this up is because I checked recently and this happens to be more expensive than this on Amazon. So just something to think about. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this unconventional video. I hope it was at least interesting to you as it was for me. Let me know what you think in the comment section. So I'll see you guys again very soon.